Lovely and long there. Eh? Lovely and long. Yeah. Only good idea is kissing the chin when you get right under the neck. I would say it's a bit about off as well. I do love matte to matte and tools, especially these brushes. I mean, you hear how long his back's not so long, so really, you just need this to actually do it. I've finally got my plastic for his hair at last, so it keeps the hair out of the eyes, because I keep wanting to do a bit more work around the, the nose and uh, about the eyebrows area, but it's keeping the hair in place, and I've got this, there we go, and that's it. So. I'm going to be using the syringe shears and I'm going to be using, where is it, where's it gone? And also straight scissors to actually get up towards the 
eyes. Just these bits here. Put the old bit of torture how to just do a little bit of thinning. Do a little bit at a time. There's no rush. No rush. Just to get the little bits at the top here so that there's enough space. There we go. And what I'm going to be doing is doing a little bit of thinning on the chest here. Stand up, come on. Just a little bit at a time. Just to thin the hair out. Because it's very warm at the moment. It only takes a little bit off at a time. But the thing we need is you don't get any... You don't get any, um, what's the word? It, don't get any nasty lines when you're doing this. Where's your head? I'm going to trim it a little bit back at the bottom though, because it's, it's getting long. Been a little bit too long. Yeah. I just want to be able to make sure we've got enough height, but not too much height. Is that hard work or something, is it? Hey, it's not hard work. Now you've got to be keep still. I'm following a particular pattern that I've got in my head that I can see as long as I've got enough space between me and him. Now once it's gone over it, I'll be just taking a stick of brush it again and brush it all down. Make sure you've got no any nasty marks or any nasty lines. Down the there you go. Come down. Come back to you in about two minutes. Two minutes. Oh, hi. Oh, hello, Andrea. Hi, Claudia. <laughs> How are you doing? Who else is in here? Oh, hello, Mike. I haven't seen you in a while. How's it? How's the move going? How's the the, the new place? Is all the have you got your dog back from the te kennel yet? Hi Rob, how are you? Yeah, so what I've just done there is I went over Obi with the, the slicker brush just to sort of like get all the hair to splay itself out and then what I've done is I've trimmed his chest, I've trimmed his eyes. 
it's been very hot here, so he's going to appreciate the cut. Next week, I'm going to be showing you a technique on how to get the perfect length in the coaches using a pair of scissors instead of uh, the clippers. I want to try it with scissors this time. Because I keep saying to myself, I can practice on OB over the, the coming week. And hopefully by this next Sunday, I'll be um, I'll be quite fluid with the, what do you call it, the, the cutting. So that's pretty good. Um, I've been working on OB's face for the past three days. Just in bed at night time, just before I go to sleep. And just spend an extra 15 minutes with him. So I've actually got practically all the mats out of his beard and out of his, his face. But every time, I, I don't know why I do it, but every time I give Obi milk, he just gets milk stains on his beard and that's not very nice. I'm not going to have to get, apparently you can get a feeder, it's like a bird feeder for dogs and it stops the, the hair getting all matted. Especially because now I've got Eunice staying with us for a couple of weeks. She raises the bin and pulls everything all over the place and nobody bloody helps her. I mean, normally Obi doesn't go for the bins, but for some reason he did tonight. Anyway, how is everybody? I hope you're all enjoying the, the weather. I hope you've had a good day, Rob. I was in the town today and it was so hot. But, um... I might go, I might go to, I mean if it's nice tomorrow I'm going to go to the sea, spend a little afternoon in the sea with Phoebe and Yuna, and um, what else have we been up to? Oh yeah, I've got exercises to do for my right arm now from the physiotherapist, and um, I've, on and off this week my arm has just been so bloody sore, because I'm doing the exercises, but my sister got me um a thing called Devil's Claw. It's a apparently it helps muscles and um, what else does it do? No, I think it's just for muscles. It's been very hot in town. Oh, crazy! Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, oh, I might take. The, the drone down to the beach tomorrow actually Rob because I love the seaside up in Woodendine. Woodendine seaside's better than Brighton because it's less crowded. But um yeah I'll take Kobe and Yuna to the sea tomorrow. And I might try and see if I can get Yuna to swim because Obi swims. Obi loves swimming in the sea. And um I I've not been in the sea for a long time. Now that I've got my wetsuit I might take it to the beach tomorrow with Obi and Yuna. Make sure I take enough medication, of course, but, um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it, actually, it does. Um, I listened to um, Patriot Radio um, on the internet, Claudia, and um, they were saying in Death Valley was like 128, and I just thought, oh, like 128. That's like the surface of the sun, or it would be to us. I mean, the hottest temperature I've been in is 107, and that was in the Valley of the Kings and Tutankhamun's tomb of all places. Yeah. Um. Yeah, it just seems to be hot all over the world, but I just hope that, that doesn't mean we get a really crappy winter. I mean, we, that, the last one that we had there was actually really, really cold. I really suffered. But then again, it's thanks to all you people that helped and pulled me through it. So anyway, back again to Obi. What I've been doing is over the past three days, I've been using the slicker brush, corn flour, and to sit and spin on, on the bed. And then um, to get into the mats into the face. And like I said, I think I've actually won the fight. I think I've got most of them out. Today's better. Yeah, apparently you, um, one of the the best heats is an Egyptian heat. They say that it's so dry. You know what I mean? There's absolutely no moisture. But the thing is with Egypt is that it doesn't get any wind. It's actually um, 
Unlike the UK, we've always got a wind. Even if it's only two miles an hour, you can feel it. In Egypt, you can't feel it because there's no any, there's no any, what do you call it, wind, sort of, like, you keep your body cool. I'll tell you, see, I'll tell you a little thing there about Egypt. Me and Jacqueline, we've been to Egypt about five times now, Luxor, um, Cairo, and that's one, and those places. Well, we were, um, we always seem to stop at um, Luxor. Luxor is just beautiful because it's got the Valley of the Kings, the Valley of the Queens all in such a small area. I remember one day me and Jack Jacqueline used to love eating cake. She loves cake. And then on the, the 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 Monday morning market in Luxor they just sell all sorts of pastries, cakes and they're beautiful. So me and Jacqueline were in were Galavias were looking about picking up cakes and stuff. And I said to Jack, I said, my God, that's a McDonald's. He goes, don't talk shit. Turns around and there's a McDonald's right next to the temple. And Luxor, Luxor Temple, right outside of it. I mean, you couldn't get any closer. And I just thought, oh my God, it's, it's changed forever. Yeah, that's what I, I like what, um, I like, I do like the, pre the president. He, um, going over to like, North Korea, getting them on board, which I thought was absolutely fantastic. But um, I thought, I said to myself, I thought, I wonder if that means they're going to um, get a McDonald's or a KFC. <laughs> <laughs> I, might, I might go then. <laughs> it's a KFC. Because they have the best chips and beans. Right. Um, I'm going to get Obi. I think I've done most of the cutting that I wanted to do, but the most important thing I think I have to get for Obi is, is I have to get him, you know those little things for, um, for his hair, I mean I've only got one clasp which works okay, I'll just go and get him, I'll be back in a second. I think I'd be giving him too many treats. Right. Take your balls, man. Huh? Right, stop that. Finishing them off with the, the pen brush. It really is the best all run through this. Especially when you, you know you've got all the mats out, then you can get away with just using this. So it took me about probably. Since I started filming again, that was about three weeks ago. Doing a little bit each day, sometimes not doing anything for a couple of days, but always make sure it's at least one in three.
Yeah, you rich a man of fun. Good matches. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to pick some out of uh, uh, a man fun for next week. I always find when Opie said, Hi Jenny, how are you? Hi Greta. Yeah, yeah I think I'll take Opie for a, 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 a jump into the sea tomorrow because he's not been in the sea for some time and neither have I. And I find the sea quite healing so I look forward to that. But I better make sure I take sunblock with me because me being a Scots, wee Scots white man, I'll burn like hell. <laughs> Even with, uh, particularly with medication that I'm on. Anyway, um, I'm going to, what I'm going to be doing through the week, I might actually do a little bit, a couple of updates and stuff as well. So sort of let's show you how I'm getting on with the scissor cut this time. So what I'll be doing next week is I'm going to be doing Obi's line cut but I'm actually going to be using the scissors instead of um, instead of the clippers. I want you to see because there's a particular way you can actually cut the coat by just using your fingers and obviously using scissors to actually get the shape and stuff. But I'll be looking at videos through the week so that I train myself up maybe on Wednesday I'll start to practice just one all being just work it a little bit at a time until Sunday when I'll be much more fluent with it and hopefully I'll what I'll do is I'll bring the camera a bit over so that one you can get to see it'll be a little bit better and two you get to see the actual cut in action. So um thanks for coming in tonight. Um I really appreciate it and hit a share if you if you really want to help me out. So I mean, and if anybody wants to come on, apparently because I'm using the phone now, I can actually press a little button on the screen and it can actually um, have a two-way conversation while everybody else talks. So if somebody's got some sort of interest that they want to talk about or they, they want to sort of like ask a few questions, please do let me know so that I can add you when you come on next week. So... Thanks for tuning in. I'll see you all next week. Take care. Much love and God bless.